today let us reflect on the Gospel of John chapter 10 verses 31 to 42. When Jesus was on this earth, his humanity was a stumbling block for his enemies. It was shocking to them that this former carpenter who hailed from a small town of Nazareth laid claim to divinity. The leaders accused him of blasphemy. You who are only a man are making yourself God, they complained. The Father and I are one. And the people again picked up stones to throw at him. I have done many good deeds in your presence, which the Father gave me to do. For which one of these do you want to stone me? We do not want to stone you because of any good deeds, but because of your blasphemy. You're only a man, but you're trying to make yourself God. <laughs> That God said you are gods. We know that what the scripture says is true forever. And God called those people gods. The people to whom his message was given. As for me, the Father chose me and sent me into the world. How then can you say that I blaspheme? Because I said that I am the Son of God. Do not believe me then, if I am not doing the things my Father wants me to do, but if I do them. Even though you do not believe me, you should at least believe my deeds. In order that you may know, once and for all, that the Father is in me, and that I am in the Father. Blasphemy! My dear friends, we look back upon Jesus through the eyes of faith. Because of our faith, we are amazed that the people of the day were so blind to the divinity of Christ. It may even be that our faith in his divinity is so strong that we fail to appreciate the reality of his humanity. The leaders of the Jewish people were wrong in thinking of Jesus only as a man, falsely claiming to be God. But we are equally wrong if we think of Jesus only as God. Jesus, though truly God, was just as human as we are in all things but sin. Indeed, it was God who suffered and died to save us from our sins. But he did so as a real human being. Jesus, therefore, is truly human and truly God. <laughs>